I'm not gonna wake up after four hours of me sleeping and go change a pad and go back to sleep. Hey guys, it's Sharon. I hope the first thing you notice is that we are in a completely different filming setup. I have been using the same setup for so long, I needed like a change of scenery, so I decided to change it up a bit. And I mean like, it's simple and it's basic, but I think it's cute, and that's basically my brand. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Now, I did make a video where I reacted to TikToks that girls should know, and ones that only girls understand, and you guys seem to really enjoy that, and I mean, I really loved it. And also, if you didn't hear, I just recently downloaded TikTok, so I just am now finally hopping on the TikTok train this video I'm gonna be reacting to TikTok period hacks I do make a lot of period videos on my channel I have a whole all about periods playlist just to give you an idea which you can go binge and that has like so many tips tricks hacks stories all that good stuff and this one I'm just gonna react to some of these TikToks and hope that they actually give me some solid period hacks and maybe even debunk a bit so that's what we're gonna do today and if you want to see more videos like this give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter and on my TikTok so you can have a say in my videos and be in them just like this one and of course, if you want to see more, you can definitely subscribe for more. But enough about that. Let's get some period hacks. Okay, so let's do the first one. Bedtime period hacks. Put a towel on your bed. True. It's just so you don't leak some tea. Okay, wait. So this said drink some tea to get in a relaxing mood. So here's the thing. If you're going to drink tea, make sure it is caffeine free. When you're on your period, you want to stay away from caffeine because caffeine is not nice for cramps. So like, for example, don't drink green tea. Peppermint tea is really good for headaches. Chamomile tea is really good when you're on your period. So just make sure it's like no caffeine. It also says to make sure your bedroom is nice and cool. I like my bedroom nice and cool anyways. So sure. What to put in your period bag at home. Wow, that's a good pack. Sanitary, painkillers, panty liners, pads and tampons, feminine wipes. I mean, your girl would die without panty liners. I literally have them everywhere. A blood hack. Okay, hydrogen peroxide. I've never actually tested hydrogen peroxide, but I've seen that in a lot of period hacks. But washing on hot. I'm not so sure about that. Every time I read about like getting your blood out of your clothes, it's always like use cold water. I could have sworn I read somewhere that hot water actually makes a stain stay in versus come out. So I don't know. But I mean, she did it in the blood was gone, so I'm assuming it worked for home sis, but proceed with caution. I have heard about the hydrogen peroxide, but not so much about the hot water though, but one way to find out. Okay, so this is, that's a lot of words. This is girl advice for periods part one, and she wrote a whole novel on this TikTok. Girl, TikToks are a minute long. You want me to read all that? Okay, let's do this. First one says, in the first three years of having your period, irregularity is normal, which is true. Don't stress if you only get it once every few months or multiple times a month. That is very true. Also, so many other things can affect your period like if you're stressed out if you play sports if you're changing your diet if you're losing weight if you're gaining weight if you're on birth control my period comes whenever she feels like it this says everyone has a different flow which means some girls periods can last only three days other girls can last 10 days also true your period isn't always a week long some people are blessed and have a three-day period some people are cursed and have a 10-day period both pads and tampons are great you choose what suits you I definitely agree with that just because your friends are using something or just because people you know are using something doesn't mean you have to you choose what your body wants and what your body enjoys because it's your body and it's your choice but also pads and tampons aren't your only option there's also period underwear there's menstrual disc there's menstrual cups there's even reusable pads which like listen I want to make like a mini period series where I test all of these things out so let me know if you guys want to see that always make a period bag with pads tampons phone and wipes little disposable scented bags panty liners extra pair of underwear and even some dark chocolate everything I agree with except the disposable scented bags. I feel like that just sounds like a bit of a waste. I'm assuming this is so you can stick your pad and your tampon in when you're in the bathroom and you can toss in the trash. To be honest, who cares if it's scented or not scented? You're in the bathroom, it's going in the trash. Bathroom smell funky anyways. Another side note, like your blood and your period itself isn't what really gives off that smell. It's like bacteria in your downstairs area when it's like sweating and you're on your period. There's lots of gunk gathering down there. So that's what's causing the smell, not your actual period blood, you know? Just seems a little bit extra. It seems like a waste 
waste of money. Next it says, change your powder tampon after four hours. Even if it's not full, bacteria could build up and cause smell. I just said that bacteria is what causes the smell. Um, I don't agree with this completely because yes, you should be changing it often, but also there's pads like overnight pads that are pads you can literally keep on while you're sleeping overnight and those can last up to 10 hours. So it's like, I'm not gonna wake up after four hours of me sleeping and go change a pad and go back to sleep. I'm also gonna fly through pads. If they're not full and it's not smelly and it doesn't feel dirty, you can keep them up to like six to eight hours I think is the max and overnight of course being 10 hours. Tampons are six to eight hours too depending on the size of course, but four hours, girl, you got four hour period product money? That's a lot of stuff to go through. <laughs> if you're on your period and the teacher won't let you go to the bathroom, just leave, trust me, which is true. I preach that in all my freaking videos. Like you can't stop your blood and you can't control your blood. So your teacher can like <laughs> kiss my butt. <laughs> this one says drink lots of water. It could reduce your cramps and cycle length. So I have heard that drinking a lot of water can shorten your period. I haven't tested it out though, but it is just important to stay really hydrated on your period and drink lots of water in general because you're losing a lot of blood, which is making you extra dehydrated. So use a period tracker app. I mean, yes, those are definitely very helpful. It kind of gives you an idea of, hey, I'm flow might be visiting very soon. Those aren't bad. Some of them I'm like debatable. Always have extra underwear. Truth. Eating dark chocolates with cramps. Change your pad every three or four hours. Who's telling y'all this? I just want to know the people that keep saying to change your pad every three or four hours. Have y'all read the box? Have y'all read the label? Have y'all heard of overnight pads? Like have you heard of super tampons? I am so confused but okay. Wear dark clothes so your stains don't show. True. Hot water bottle for cramps or get like a towel and stick it in hot water. True. There's all also that sock where you stick rice in and you heat it up. There's so many ways to make like a DIY heating pad. Do some light exercise. True, that is supposed to be really good for cramps. Don't eat colored food. I thought she was about to say eat some Takis. I was like, absolutely not. Take cold showers. Always carry a purse. Drink lots of water. I'm assuming that carrying a purse is to keep your like supplies in it, but I feel like that's not a period hack. <laughs> you can also keep your period supplies in like your pockets. I sometimes hide my pads in my bra. There's so many spots on your person to hide supplies, but yeah, a purse would be convenient, but I don't think that's really a hack. It's true. Sis is speaking some facts. Like, I don't think you should be scared of opening your pad in the bathroom because, again, people know what a period is. You're gonna get your period. That's a part of life. Periods just happen and they always will happen. If you don't want people to hear that sound, like if you're still a little bit too embarrassed, you can flush the toilet while opening at the same time. The number one go-to hack I used to have in middle school. You can also open it beforehand. You can use scissors to cut the little ripping part, but I think flushing the toilet is the easiest one. I don't know if you're starting your period soon. Let's see, because I do have a whole video on signs that you're getting your first period so definitely go check that out if you haven't had your first period yet this says you're getting more discharge than normal this can start happening several months before your period starts discharge if I remember correctly can start a year or a year and a half before you start your actual period so when you start seeing discharge just know she's coming and also discharge is a very common and normal thing discharge is that little ooey gooey stuff you see on your panties that you're like why is it ooey and gooey and why is it kind of white and why is it kind of like slimy type of look that's discharge and discharge will probably keep happening for a very long time while you have your period. It says stomach ache or cramps. I mean, true, but also like, what if I just ate a lot of tacos or something, you know? Tender boobs. So yes, when your boobs start growing, that's usually around like a year or I think max two that your period is coming soon. Brown or reddish discharge. When I first got my period, I had like this brown thing in my underwear and I was like, oh my God, did I just like liquid poop in my panties? I found out that it's discharge and the reason it's brown is because that's just old blood. So it's true. Your discharge is white slash clear gooey stuff that comes from your vagina. Oh, well, yeah, I definitely just said that. Bloating in your stomach, you're feeling tired, and you have mood swings. I mean, fair, but like, also, I'm a girl, and I just get annoyed easily, so. <laughs> Again, with the bloating, what if I just ate a lot? I put a tampon in. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. 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 True. You Very squat, important. Open a leg up. If you're like a first time tampon user, it'll definitely help. Or you can even use a mirror to like look and like help you out. I'm sorry, I had to get one to show you. You don't want to angle it up. You want She's to angle it up like a degree angle towards you. And there's going to be a grip right here. Yep. So with one hand, you're going to hold the grip. And the other hand, you're going to push this part up. But like this part will be inserted. This part will stay out of your body. After you push this part up, it's going to look like this. And then this white part will just stay and the plastic applicator will come out. Yep. The string will stay outside of your body. So when you change it every four days, don't you just cut, cut it out. the string. Don't flush the plastic 
That too. Okay, I am so glad Home Sis just spitted like straight up facts. I like how she's like, you can keep your damn butter for four to eight hours. I don't know what those girls are talking about with like the three to four hours. Sis, if I'm not bleeding that much, she could stay in there a little bit longer. But also when it comes to tampons, make sure you don't keep them in too long because there's a super rare thing called TSS, which is toxic shock syndrome, which that usually is related to and stems from tampons because they're gathering a lot of bacteria and not just inside you. Literally the box says how long you'd use it up for, you know? She said everything, everything was great. Do not cut the string. The string is how you pull the tampon out. If you're scared of the string hanging out of your underwear, tuck it in between your lips. And I'm not talking about these lips, I'm talking about those lips. <laughs> what to put in a period bag for school. Pads and tampons, painkillers, extra pair of underwear. Okay, that's not bad at all. My first TikTok I ever made was a period emergency kit that I actually got from the dollar store, so it was very affordable too, so you could definitely go check that out. And I'm pretty sure I have made some on my channel too. Tips for a happy and healthy vagina. Use a dental soap like Dove down there and coconut oil to shave. It's unscented and it works wonders. So this razor stays away from razor bumps. Cranberry pills are packed with antioxidants to help prevent UTIs. Something, I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Of course. This whole eating pineapples to make your vagina taste good and smell good, it doesn't work like that. Like there have been so many studies done on that and it just does not work like that. You'd have to eat so much pineapple for it to make even the slightest difference. But okay, I mean, hey, it's a fruit. They got some great vitamins in it. Cranberry is very good for UTIs, but make sure it's like genuine cranberry, not the little cocktail mix that has a ton of sugar. When it comes to soap and cleaning your vagina and washing your vagina, so what's great about a vagina is it cleans itself. Obviously it's clean like the inside. You can definitely still clean your outer vagina just as long as you don't go inside. Honestly, I usually just like either rinse it off with water or I rinse it off with water and add a little bit of soap on the outside and that's it. Never go on the inside, never go in between the lips, never do anything that's ever remotely close to entering the vagina. Not even like entering your body, but just entering the closed space. <laughs> I'm trying to put this in like layman's terms. Term. Try to lean towards unscented too because again irritation and all that stuff keeping a healthy diet is very important If you want to smell good. Yeah, I don't know about that girl. That's just bacteria. That's just sweat Like if you try to smell good down there Just don't wear tight clothing when you're on your period try to avoid tight clothing when it's really hot outside and you'll be fine You should be naturally eating healthy as much as you can anyways <laughs> Lemon water for your immune system truth lemon water is really good things you shouldn't do on your period Let's see girl. What is it? Wear white Eat salty foods, true. You definitely want to stay away from very salty foods, especially fast food. Eat spicy foods, probably because of cramps. Drink caffeine, absolutely not. Wear light clothing, absolutely not because of stains. Oh, those tips were actually not that bad. Some of them I was like, mm, that's not quite how it works. But for the most part, I feel like those are actually pretty good. So good job, TikTok. I would say it is period approved by a stranger on the internet. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you would like to see another video of me reacting to TikToks, let me know. And if you have a specific type or topic, also let me know. Now, shout out of the day goes to Amelia on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you would like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And I do have a series on my Instagram where I answer questions that you're too afraid to ask anyone else so you decide to ask me and you can binge that series on my IGTV. And like I mentioned, I did make a TikTok. I will be making more peer-related content on TikTok as well. So if you want to see more, definitely go follow me on TikTok. And if you want to see more period content right now, I have a whole all about periods playlist that you can binge with so many things like period hacks for school, period hacks in general, how to swim with the period, what to put in your period kit, period acne, all that good stuff. Definitely lots of bingeable stuff too. But if you want to see more, definitely subscribe for more. And all that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.